What is going on everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel V1.1 gameplay we're going to be Barcelona versus Manchester United so a lot of you have been asking me for my thoughts on what I think about V1.1 um, and this is this is pretty much my first game so I'm going to be giving you my raw impressions as I play it um, obviously you look the first thing is to say out of it I don't think that they've made too many changes to the cosmetics I mean a lot of people are asking me that you know and again lads look when we have news on Master League obviously Master League and edit mode is my are my two favorite modes you know what I mean like I, I want them as much as everybody else but there's no plan there for them at the moment unfortunately yet we don't have any news on it so I mean we can only talk about and you know only do content on the stuff that's actually here and playable um, as much as I want Master League and stuff Stuff like that we have to wait for news to come out on it um but when it does we will be all over it so i'm going to be kicking off here lads with barcelona right we're playing in old trafford in the daytime we're playing a three at the back we're playing on superstar difficulty 10 minute matches um this is a new obviously feature that they've added now the first thing i will say lads is i still think right that the biggest problem you know, between judging offline and online gameplay is that online you're just dealing with a lot more, uh, you know, variables. Like that's that's the that's the only way that you can say it, right? Because with offline, right, you're playing against the AI that you can kind of, you know, you can kind of play a little bit of ball. You know what I mean? Like the AI play very traditional formations. They play in a very traditional way. Now I'm not saying that it's not enjoyable. It is. Like I actually have really enjoyed all oh, my days. What a bad pass that is. Level three pass assist. Uh, you, have to be, you have to be concentrating, lads. That's why it's not easy. But I've played on, like, I've played a lot of the AI challenges on the events and stuff, and I really, really enjoyed it. But I think that when, it's comes to, when it comes to online, right, you're talking about, you know, like, you're coming up against guys that are playing, like, three center forwards up front. You know, some players are playing 4-2-4 formation. Um, you know, they're, like, doing like spamming through balls they're doing really really fast like intricate uh level one fully assisted like ping pong touch and go and you just have to be able to like you have to be able to balance everything it's not as easy as just making the game for offline fans with the ai being absolutely brilliant that don't make mistakes and have it all natural i mean the game is at the moment like an online centric game so um like that is kind of what you have to judge it as as of right now oh nice nice little trickery there and again I like that. I like that a lot that the AI are kind of taking you on a little bit more. But yeah, I mean, taking all that into consideration when you're talking about the AI and the differences between the AI and the differences between offline and online play, like I still do think that a lot of stuff you do need to test out online. It's very difficult to get a really like perfect picture of how the game oh that's lovely see i love these little touches lads that they've re, they've they've worked on the responsive dribbling and the responsiveness to the players and again that's that's a really nice touch there that you can see straight away so with ansu fatty out in the wing so i definitely think that they have touched the the, the dribbling a little bit ansu fatty went down like he was after getting shot but um yeah, so it is, you have to bear that in mind, lads, when you are doing any sort of impressions or anything like that, you know, that you're always going to have instances where, uh, you know, it's it's very hard to judge the game, in my opinion, like offline v online, because like online, you're dealing with a load of different stuff. Oof, that was a beautiful shot by Pedri, player, player of the game, I would reckon. Oh, that's lovely as well. And again, you got the diving header. And again, lads, like, I mean, it's easy to criticize the game and like it does have its flaws, but... It also has some lovely stuff that they're that they've like continued to work on as well. Like if you for, forward this here, like look at this for Pedri, like little left stick dribbling, cuts inside, little skip over, lovely shot. It's too central for De Gea, and then I try to get the ball back in here from a corner uh, position or try cross it in with Dembele. I'm not set. It's a terrible ball in. Too much pace on it. Comes in. The pie is too small. Our Bray White is too small. Look at this for a diving header clearance. And then it's out, and then I missed the ball here. It's over my head. So like, there is a lot of nice animations in it. I mean, obviously we could we could we could have a an hour video here talking about the issues with the game and what needs to be fixed and you know what needs to be added modes wise and stuff. But um, I do think that the game feels a lot more responsive. That's my initial impression with it. Is that like there was this kind of like I don't know was it a bug or sort of a kind of an issue with it that like when you switch to a defender there was like a tiny like like half a second 
split second I suppose kind of um, stuttered between the players so you'd be moving with Pedri here and then you'd switch to a player and there'd be a stutter now this was most evident when you were like backtracking or you were getting caught in the break and literally lads you could con- I-, I conceded a few goals because of it you know what I mean oh beautiful De Jong you're on your bike does he have the pass gives it oh the feet oh oh magic football lads De Jong, back where it started, oof, oof, but yeah, lads, as I was saying, right, so there is a lot of, like, that was the big thing there, right, that, like, if you're running here with Pedri, right, and then you flick to somebody, that you're in control straight away, or you flick to another person, and you're in control straight away when you get the ball, there was a slight stutter before with that, oh, come out, there was a slight stutter, so, like, I'll try and show you when I give them, give these boys back uh, possession here, oh, he doesn't want it back, Right, so say I'm running here with Busquets, and then I flick. See the way I'm continuing my run back? See that kind of like stutter? It seems to be kind of like gone. So I'll go into it here and replay and kind of show you guys. I don't want to spend too much um, going through this sort of stuff, but you can just see here, right? So we go to the go to the main camera. You can just see it here. Uh, let me see. Yeah, here, right? So I'm flicking here, right? And you see when I switch, you can see that I'm continuing my run on with Pedri there. And then you you flick back like that's kind of there was a kind of a like a, a slight stutter in v 1.0 where that if you had control of the player and then you like switch to another player if you were backtracking or you were going on a run um that it like there was a tiny like little stutter to it that like it would it would kind of lose your momentum now you obviously could like you could you could learn to get away with that and give yourself an extra second and kind of learn the mechanic of it, but I don't think it was ever meant to be that way. So I'm glad that they had a look at that and they fixed it because that was very frustrating, especially if you were backtracking. You know, if you're running this way with the young and then you flick, that you know you're not you're not no longer like you lose kind of that half a second. So that seems to be fixed. Let me know what you guys think because that seems to be the most um, the most evident fix that they've you know the most visual fix or the most visual or how it feels oh look at that for a a muscle but i think that's the most noticeable thing that you can actually point and say like yeah that looks a lot better and the dribbling lads as well i must say the dribbling with the left stick and the right stick feels very very tight look at that oh that is beautiful we'll do a bit more dribbling now in a second dribbling lads looks feels very very nice i must say the little touches with the good players united are being very physical pity they're not like this in real life they're tearing into me. There's timber going around. Yeah, it all comes down to like online, lads. That's that's the only way to do it. Oh, I could steal it. It all comes down to online and how the game is going to play. Because as I've always said, you've got a lot of factors playing in um in in into the equation when you are playing online compared to offline, you know? The game plays like differently online because obviously you're playing against an actual human, you know, like that is playing a different way than than the AI is coded. So I like the little touches, the lads. The dribbling is definitely feels a little bit more responsive, especially the right stick dribbling, like the turn and the turns and that. Like that's definitely tightened up, definitely, and it feels even better. Maybe I should have picked. Um... Oh, he's gone. This is this is how I concede most goals. Let's see the manual keeping. Yeah, that that's nice. What a save! But yeah, let me know what you guys think because it is hard to it is hard to judge it obviously on one game and one game alone. But I like giving my initial impressions, as I said, and then going back. Oh, lovely. This could go anywhere, lads. Get up. 70 minutes on the clock. Oh, I'm out of possession now. Out of position. Now, see, this is what I'm talking about. When I'm running back here, see that stutter now? That's what I'm talking about there. That's a perfect example. Did you see this, right? This is what I'm trying to talk about the whole time. No, we don't want Ronaldo. We just want the ball. Right, watch this. Do you see when I'm run, running with Lenglet here, right? So I'll try and get him here. One sec. Now, right? See when I'm running here with Lenglet. Lenglet, right? So I'm running, running, running with Nico Fernandez here. Getting back, getting back, getting back, getting back, right? Then I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch control to Lenglet, right? So instead of him, you see that little there when he stands up, right? So I've taken control of him from here. So instead of him running and continuing to run and giving me control keeping him in his stride or running. It like starts up and then it continues to run on when I have control of him. Do you get what I mean? So that's that's something that, no, it's not like, when you break it down like that in like minute detail, that looks much improved there. It's still like, there's still like a breadcrumb of it there, I would say. Um, but like, I don't want to 
like as well, I don't, I don't want it. And I want to be careful what I kind of, how I put this because I know like you have to control the balance of the game, but like, I don't want the, I want that kind of balance there where it's like the players have a small weight and actual like, you know, like humanness to them that they're not just automatically just going to be sprinting every time every time that I like get the ball and they're like, okay, well, he's going to be sprinting because then what happens is what if I want to stop up in a situation, you know, you have to have it balanced, but it does seem much improved. And I noticed that that was the first thing I noticed. What a save. I noticed that. Get it out. Get it out. Oh my days. Bad shot. I noticed that from the minute I like picked up the the pad when I played the first couple of, couple of uh, minutes, I noticed that the responsiveness when I was tracking back was much improved um will that speed up the game as like when you play online that is gonna have to be remain to be seen oh no what am i doing oh no that was desperate lad sorry i wasn't paying attention will that speed up the game when you take it online and people are able to have even more you know will they be able to commit forward even more aggressively because they'll have more control um over the speed of their defenders getting back and stuff like again that remains to be seen um oh pedri lovely can we get the winner, lads? Ah, oh, ref. Seriously, ref. Come on now. Oh, he's true. No, see, and there's another example of it there. Like, that is much improved, I think, there. See that there, right? Again, it's Lengle. He's he's getting all the he's getting all the criticism today. You can see this here, right? So I'm not controlling him. I'm not controlling him. And then I am. And then he doesn't he stop. He just takes his stride. That wasn't happening in V1.0, as far as I'm concerned. He would have stopped up like here. And like did a little stutter. Whereas in fact, Ronaldo took a dodgy touch. I got in with the tackle. Like that's huge. Now we will have to, we will have to judge that and see um, what it's going to look like online because that's a hugely important part of controlling the tempo of the game, in my opinion. Um, but it could be a positive thing as well if they if they keep the balance right. It seems it seems fair there. I will say as well like that the players seem to be a little bit more. Oh my god, that's a super pass, Cavani. Nah, no, it's too easy. The defenders seem to be, when they win the ball, they kind of like win it. But again, lads, I'm going to play a couple of more of these. I'm just going to get this out. And I want you your uh, opinions on it. Oh, little touch and go. Pedri. Oh, lads, that feet. Oh, the feet, lads. Oh, and he missed it. But that's what I'm talking about. That type of dribbling, those little, you know, you don't need skill moves. You can just have little deft touches and like glide away from ta challenges that looked beautiful there in my opinion that looked absolutely beautiful even the miss from Dembele is probably realistic enough but uh yeah let me know guys let me know what you think um I want to get up my raw impressions and then I can revisit it again if I have a bad take on something let me know call me out if I'm not noticing something or you want me to go into more detail on something let me know as well um and let me know what you guys would like to like to spot can I can I get the winner though that's the the one thing I want Oh, lovely ball. Back heel. Oh, man. Flicky. Oh! Oh! Ooh, that would have been some winner, lads. But yeah, that's my first impressions, lads. Um, I'll probably leave most of this clip up, so um, let me know what you guys think. We're probably going to head into extra time, but let me know what you think, and let me know if you are enjoying V1.1 a little bit more. Obviously, with the 10-minute matches, that makes a big difference as well to the flow to the games. Um, but yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you later. Peace.